let x and y be two positive integers and p be a prime number. If x into x minus p minus y into uh, y plus p is equal to 7p, what will be the minimum value of x minus y? So it is given that x into x minus p minus y into y plus p equal to 7p. The minimum value of x minus y. So I am trying to retain x minus y by doing a certain thing. So let's multiply the x and y's inside. So you have x square minus xp minus y square minus yp equal to 7p. So let's keep the, let's take the p uh, variables to the other side. You will have x square minus y square is equal to, I'll have 7p plus, let's say it's p into x plus y. Let's keep the variable separate and the prime number separate. Now x, x square minus y square can be written as x plus y into x minus y equal to 7p plus p into x plus y. Now when we rewrite this, I'm taking, I need, I'll retain x minus y over here. Take this x plus y over there, you'll have x minus y is equal to 7p by x plus y plus p into x plus y by x plus y. Or we can write it as x minus y is equal to 7p by x plus y plus p. So this is going to be the value of x minus y at any instance. Now I look at this, we know that x and y are two positive integers. Now when there are two positive integers, x minus y and x plus y, the resultant will always match. For instance, if x minus y is even, x plus y is also even. Similarly, if x minus y is odd, x plus y also becomes odd. For any two positive integers, the sum of the differences, if it is even, the difference of the, uh, the, difference of the integers cannot be odd. 2 plus 4 is 6, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, or 4 minus 2 is also 2. They are always even. Odd, odd, even, even. So we know this. So x minus y is even, x plus y also becomes even x minus y is odd, x plus y is also odd. So I'm trying to figure out what possibly could happen over here. Now let's say x minus y, there are two cases, either x minus y is even or x minus y is odd. Let's say x minus y is even. So for x minus y is even, an even number will be equal to 7p by even. Note that this is an integer. I'm going to divide some number by an another number I should be getting an integer because I have to add p which is a prime number that is also an integer. So 7p has to be even because I have to divide a number by an even number and it gets perfectly divided. The only possibility is the numerator is even. The only place where the numerator can become even is when p is prime and even there is only one case that is 2 where p is equal to 2. So this becomes 14. Now I have to divide 14 by an even number, end up with an integer and add an another integer to it and I should get an even number. Now if 14 is a number to be divided by an even number, there are only two cases, either even this number is 2 or 14. We know that p is equal to 2 here in this case. Now in that scenario, even number x minus y is even, that is equal to I divide 14 by 2, I get 7. I divide 14 by 14, I get 1. And I know that p is equal to 2. So 7 plus 2 and 1 plus 2. This is 9, this is 9. But clearly both of them are not possible because we know that x minus y is even. If x minus y is even on both cases, this is 3. If x minus y is even, 7 plus 2 is 9 which is odd, 1 plus 2 is 3 which is also odd, this case doesn't happen. So x minus y cannot be even. Similarly, I am going to take an another case that says x, x minus y is odd. So you will have the scenario that x minus y is equal to 7p by x plus y 
plus p. Now I know that x minus y is odd. Now for me to have x minus y is odd, x plus y should also be odd. I have to divide 7p by an odd number and I should get an integer. So either I know that 7 is prime, p is also prime. So that clearly says x plus y is a number that is also prime which is either equal to 7 or p. Because I cannot divide a product of a prime number into a prime number by some other number. So x plus y is either 7 or x plus y is either p. On both occasions, the product of these two numbers is odd. And this number is also odd. And we clearly know that an odd number divided by an odd number, the resultant will also be odd. There is no case when you divide an odd number by an odd number and you get an even number. An odd number by an odd number, the resultant is also odd. If I substitute it in this scenario, I see that it is an odd number as an odd number plus odd number because p is prime. p is an odd number, doesn't work. An odd number plus odd number is even number but whereas x minus y is odd, simply this case cannot also exist. Neither of this scenario which clearly says the given particular expression equation over here cannot even exist in the first place. No values of x, y and p can satisfy this. So if that's the case, the minimum value of x can never be determined. So the answer is none of these. It's a very tricky question. You have to understand x plus y is odd, x minus y is odd, uh, x plus y is even, x minus y is even. You substitute it in the equations and you understand they cannot exist in this particular set of equation. The answer is none of the above.